As a member of the Council of Corporate Economic Development and a secret admirer of Governor LePage, I felt compelled to add to the labor mural some of the corporate leaders who were significant in bringing wealth to the wealthy despite onerous government regulations and pesky unions. A railroad developer and speculator, Jay Gould sold out his associates, bribed legislators, and even kidnapped a potential investor. After hiring strike breakers during a railroad strike in 1886, he was reported to have said, I can hire one half of the working class to kill the other half. Isaac Harris and Max Blank were the owners of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory, where the deadliest industrial disaster in the history of New York caused the deaths of 146 garment workers. Bernie Madoff pleaded guilty to 11 federal felonies and admitted to turning his wealth management business into a massive Ponzi scheme that defrauded thousands of investors of billions of dollars. Governor Scott Walker was responsible for a bill that eliminates most collective bargaining rights for government workers. Don Blankenship's company, Massey Energy, has one of the worst records for mine safety in the country. Blankenship has personally gone into mines to persuade workers to abandon union organizing efforts. Massey is also fighting lawsuits that claim it contaminated groundwater around its mines. Bernard Ebers was convicted of fraud and conspiracy as a result of WorldCom's false financial reporting and the subsequent loss of $100 billion and thousands of jobs. Henry Clay Frick was a vicious anti-unionist and his response to a strike at one of his steel mills, which began after he attempted to lower wages, resulted in 16 deaths. Ken Lay was chairman of Enron, whose bankruptcy was the biggest in U.S. history and cost 20,000 employees their jobs and many their life savings. And of course, Gordon Gecko, who coined the phrase, greed is good. These are prime examples of the way capitalism works. Imagine the heights they could have reached without government intervention and labor's meddling.